Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Uh, my fiance did end up coming this weekend, so that's fun. Um, but I'm just going to do this recording real quick because it's pretty late for us, and um, we just have a busy Saturday and actually a Sunday, too. So we're just trying to find the time to do this. Um, but I actually went to go see a movie with my dad tonight. We saw the new Ghostbusters movie. I'd say it's a solid 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. Nothing, you know, fantastic, but not a bad movie by any means. So if you're thinking about going to see that, I think it's, you know, it's worth it if you're a Ghostbusters fan. If you're looking for, you know, the next Oscar performance or anything, probably want to skip it. All right, so we have the uh, second half of Chapter 31 today, The Sabbath. And here we go again, that same beginning. Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, You must observe my Sabbath. This will be a sign between me and you for the generations to come, so you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. Observe the Sabbath, because it is holy to you. Anyone who desecrates it is to be put to death. Those who do any work on that day must be cut off from their people. For six days work is to be done, but the seventh day is a day of Sabbath rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day is to be put to death. The Israelites are to observe the Sabbath, celebrating it for the generations to come as a lasting covenant. It will be a sign between me and the Israelites forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. When the Lord finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him the two tablets of the covenant law, the tablets of stone inscribed by the finger of God. So, we uh, have the end of the conversation between God and Moses up on Mount Sinai. He got all of that information to take back down to the Israelites. Um, so the Sabbath, you can interpret it how you want. Um, I know I'm too tired to remember all the reasons why right now, but um, I know that's one of the differences between my uh, part, my Lutheran part of Christianity and my fiance's family's uh they're like nazarene so it's both christian um just believe in slightly different things and one of the things that we you know found was a difference was the sabbath where we don't think you know that you can't work on sunday or you know like we don't think that that's a sin by any means um but then uh her family is pretty strict about you know not doing almost anything on sunday so, uh, just the difference between the two, um, like I said, I'm just too tired to think of the reasons why I asked my pastor a while ago what the differences were, and I think I remember something to the effect of, you know, as long as somebody puts time aside to relax and worship God, um, I think that was part of it. It might not be all of it, but that's just what I'm remembering for right now, um, so yeah, sorry if I seem out of it. it. It was a long day, barely had any time to just sit and relax. So um, thank you for bearing with me through today's video, and I will see you again tomorrow uh, for your Sunday morning video before church.